We're going to start by talking about commas and dates. So we use commas to separate the day and date, and also the date with the year. Let's take a look at this example. It says, today is Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. So we separated the day of the week and the date with a comma. We also separate the date with the year by using a comma. Let's take a look down here. My birthday is on Monday, August 23rd, 2021. Again, we are separating the day of the week with the date. We use a comma. We separate the date and the year with a comma. The party is on Saturday, October 5th, 2022. Okay, where were the commas? Between Saturday and October. The 5 and the 2022. So we separate it when it's the day of the week and the date, the date and the year. I'm going to make up a sentence and you're going to help me place the commas. The last day of school is Thursday, June 2nd, 2021, period. I didn't put the commas in. Where did the commas belong? We put a comma here after Thursday, so between the day of the week and the date. Where's the next comma go? We put it between the date and the year. We are now going to be answering this prompt based on long ago and now. Do you think being a kid is better now or was it better in the past? Why? Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some notes of how things were long ago and how things are today. And that will help you decide, well, would you rather be a kid long ago or would you rather be a kid today? So let's go ahead and we're gonna go back and look in the story. We're going to start by reading right here. It says, today we ride in a car. It is a fast way to go. It is fun to take a trip with mom and dad. So cars are fast. Here it says, long ago, people rode in wagons. It could take a long time to get places. So the trip would be long. So let's go ahead and we're going to write both of those ideas down in our notes. So, long ago, they had wagon, and it would be a long trip. Today, we have a car, and it would be a fast trip. Again, we're using words from the story to help us write our notes. If you need to, it's okay for you to pause the video now to write these notes down. We're going to go back to the story and look for some more things we can write down. Let's see what, how this was in the today. Today we can get water at home. This girl can clean up and take a drink at a sink. So we have sinks in our home. How'd they get water long ago? Long ago, people used to get water at a pump. This girl pumps water while this boy takes a drink. So that's something to think about. In today, we have a sink in our house, but long ago you had to go outside to a pump. So let's write those ideas down. So long ago, they had to use a pump outside. Today, we have a sink inside. So you decide. Would you rather have long ago when you got to go outside and use a pump 
or do you like using the sink inside? Last idea, let's go here with schools. So it said long ago, kids went to school just like us, but lots of schools had just one teacher. Big kids and little kids were in the same class. Mm, that means if you have any brothers or sisters or maybe cousins that are older than you or younger than you, you might be in the same class as them. Today, kids attend class one grade at a time. Then it asks us, which grade are you in? Well, we're all in first grade. So that's something different too. So long ago, all kids, it doesn't matter what age they are, were in the same classroom. So they only had one teacher and one classroom. So long ago, for our note, we're going to write they had um, one class for everyone. I know that was a little long. I'm going to go ahead and it should go on to the next line. And then here we're going to write um, class is by your age, right? Depending how old you are, that's what class you're in. Classes by age. Okay, let's take a look at our notes one more time. So long ago, if you were using a wagon, it could take a long time. Today, you could take a car and it would be fast. Long ago, to get water, there was a pump outside. Today, there's a sink inside. Long ago, school, there was one class for everyone. But today, class is by your age. So friends, make sure you have these notes down. Pause the video if you are not done yet, OK? And that's OK if you're not done. Take your time. I'm going to go ahead and make this so it's obvious that these are our notes. There we go. So you want to write these down. And we'll use these ideas tomorrow when you decide what you would prefer.